Hello everybody, today we are going to be reading Stink, Solar System Superhero. Stink, Solar System Superhero. Chapter 1. Move over, Saturn. Flub, flop, flunk. Stink Moody. Ha Stink Moody had to take a test. A super science test. A solar system test. He had, he had to learn all of the planets by tomorrow. Stink went to find his big sister. He sure hoped Judy wasn't in a bat in a mood. If Judy was moody, Stink hoped it was hope your little brother study for his test mood. There were nine whole planets, and Stink only knew about one. The one was called the the one in the S Encyclopedia Saturn. You might even say Stink was a super Saturn expert. Saturn had rings and moons, and it was made of gas. Hardy har har. Saturn could float like an ice cube in a giant bathtub. If you just happen to know any giants, Saturn could spin as fast as it looked. Sad okay. Flat as a silver dollar pancake stinks favorite food on on Earth. Not Saturn. One year, one year on Saturn took 29 Earth years. If Stink was 7 on Saturn, he would be 203 years old on Earth. Way older than Judy. Stink found Judy in her room. On her top bunk, making a picture out of already been chewed gum. What's that? Stink asked. It's a Venus flytrop made out of ABC gum, said Judy. You know what would be even cooler? What? Judy asked. A picture of Saturn made out of ABC gum, said Stink. cares about Saturn? Me, said Stink. But now I have to care about eight other planets too. Huh? Judy asked, looking up from her ABC gum art. Stink held up his science book. I have a test Tomorrow, a big fat test on planets. Will you help me study? No way, Stinkerbell, said Judy. Can't you see I'm way busy? But you're so smart, said Stink, buttering her up. <sighs> That's not what you said? When I had to get a math tutor. But you've been to second grade, right? Stink, I've been to college. C 
See, I need somebody super smart. Smarter than second grade. I need somebody college smart to quiz me. Do I get to boss you around? Sure, said Sink. Do I get to yell, hardy har har, if you flunk? I'm not going to flunk, said Sink, because you're my super smart sister, and you're going to help me. He pushed the science book over to Judy. Judy flipped through the book pages. Name the nine planets. Too hard said Stink. You have to know the names of the planets. Mrs. D is going to ask for that. Sure. For sure. Think, Stink. Stink closed his eyes. Saturn, Jupiter, Earth, Pluto, and... That one becomes before Pluto. Stink. Good thing you have me, your brainy big sister, to teach you. My very excellent mother just served me nine pizzas. Thought Dad was making us spaghetti. No, Stink. That's how you remember the planets. The first letter of each word in the sentence stands for each word. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. My very excellent mother just served us nine pizzas, said Steve. <sighs> Your very excellent father is about to serve spaghetti, said Dad, coming into Judy's room. Come on, you two, time for dinner. I was just teaching Stink how to remember the planets, said Judy. Like Roy G., Biv helps you remember all the colors of the rainbow. Mr. Todd says it's called Moronic. I think the word is mnemonic, said Dad. Who thought that up, said Judy. Some moron, said Stink. He and Judy cracked up all the way to the dinner table. My very excellent mother just served us nine pizzas. Mercury, sun. On this bright side of Mercury, it's a face melting 840 degrees. Don't forget your sunblock SPF 5 degree. On the dark side of the planet, it's minimus 275 degrees. Brr. Better pack your long underwear. Venus. What is the stinkiest planet? Stinkeron. Venus. Poopiator. It's obviously B. I mean, right, everybody? Okay. Yeah. The answer B. Venus. Blame it on the hazy clouds of sulfuronic acid. Smells like a giant rotten egg P.U. Alright everybody, I'm going to stop here. Maybe later today or tomorrow I will read this chapter. But for now, thanks for watching and bye!